Well, that just changes everything. It's the most wonderful time of year. Okay. I'm trying to get the connection between coffee and cars. And what's your piece? Russian Sailor's Dance. Okay. So telepathy is not working today. I have to know what piece are on the board. from this thing, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. 
everybody look in your uh, parts and put your finger at the beginning. You guys see the tempo? Quarter note equals 126. So, oh, I guess you guys don't know. Okay, well, and then move your finger to measure six. It says pesante. Yes, so that's heavy. And we want a slower tempo. So, bum, 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 bum. And then move your finger to measure 18. It's going to be just a little bit faster, poco più mozo, a little bit more in the tempo. And then move your finger to measure 30. Più mozo, so a little more, but more than a poco più mozo. So it's going to move a little bit more there. And then measure 42, move your finger there. It's going to be kind of back to the pesante tempo, it's going to be slower, and it's going to be poco a poco accelerando, so we're going to speed up through that all the way until measure 54. So put your finger at 54, 54 to the end is that same fast tempo. Alright, so the hardest two tempo changes are at 30 and 42, so let's work on that. Um, go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 before 30, measure 22. So the word is crescendo, but it means get louder. I'm sorry, yeah, sorry. what were you going to say? <laughs> Can we hear just the last note? Oh, okay, <laughs> let's do that. Okay. Can't leave with bad taste. Uh, just the woodwinds. Last note. <laughs> oh, mechanical failure. You natural, right? Oh. One, two, three, three, three. There we go. Not to let it go flat. 
Okay. Everybody on counts of E flat. What's that for trumpets? No, oh, no, I'm asking the conductor. What about clarinets? Same thing. What about sax? Alto. Concert E flat. Yep. It's G? Nope. No. Oh. E flat, alto, sax. What do you play on a sax to get an E flat? C. Bingo. Yeah. So, have those in your head. If you can't do the transposition in your head fast enough, write it on your lesson plan. Yeah. You, you did that pretty quickly. Um, but uh, that's the instrument that'll drive people crazy. So again, let's get in the habit of not saying can we start in the concert F because everybody in this room knows how to do it, but in real life they'll go, we have a concert? <laughs> <laughs> that's, I've seen that. Yeah. 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 Uh, again, a real life situation, one and, and when you're teaching uh, kids to play that kind of a syncopation, one and, and, they've got to pat their feet. If you see them do this, you're in trouble. Yeah, if they are tapping the rhythm, not the beat, there is trouble. Because that is how kids drop beats. So you want to make sure, in fact, when I was in public school, I had three bands. The test to get into the second band was, can you play that syncopated rhythm correctly? Tapping your feet. So, and I've actually gotten the floor and had kids tap their feet up and down. Because you want to make sure they're not mimicking the rhythm, that they're actually feeling that. Um, beat two disappear. Uh, they got all the tempo changes. You probably didn't say anything about that. As you accelerate, just get your beat small, not bigger. Okay. Right? Yeah. Logic? Makes it. As we get faster get and your faster. beat gets bigger, what's going to happen? It's going to slow down. down. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. It sits to travel. Um, <laughs> exactly. So this piece exists in a number of versions. The original is monstrously hard. Anybody ever done the orchestral original? Yeah. Monstrously hard. Um, there's a wonderful arrangement for orchestra by Merle Isaac. Probably a good high school orchestra. It's done constantly. It was done in the 50s, I think. And that's, you know, 80% of the original. There's a couple of good band arrangements. This is probably the simplest. It's, it's only about 20% of the piece. Interesting in the way, is it Williams? Yeah, in the way Williams did this. Um, he avoided the problem of ba 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 by doing what, Eric? Uh, by adding more in a da 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 See? Da. Yes. At this level, I would be hard pressed to expect kids to go ba 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 ba. Way way too hard. So you simplify that by simply straight eight notes. Very smart. A lot of arrangers would try to figure that out. And this piece would have been disastrous. It's very difficult for young kids to play. Bop, 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 bop. <coughs> okay, I'm just looking at my notes. Yes, very good. This kids love this piece, by the way. How long has this been around? Do not. <laughs> yeah. I can't read that. Did you ever read Latin? What is that? 78? No. 88? Um, yeah. yeah, me too. Anyway, <laughs> ask me in two hours. Um, this is a very popular arrangement. Kids love this piece. It has tempo changes. It has forte pianos. Trombone players can bliss if you want to get into that. And it goes really, really fast. So this is a guaranteed winner. So this is a piece to remember. There's another slightly more difficult band arrangement. I can't remember who did it, but that's another one you want to keep in mind. This is a guaranteed winner. All right, very nice. Next week.